okay, so this is going to be the reference picture that almost faded out of of her letter. I'm basically going to be following the design of her eye mask thingo. I don't actually know what it is. <laughs> so just sketching it, holding a piece of paper up to my face and using a eyeliner pen. This is from Essence. Just to map out and using the exact same shape as my eye just to make sure that I get the shape of this heart right. So drawing the basic outline then on the inner side I'm then adding the actual heart. So therefore when I do go to cut it out, it'll be the right size. So until then I'm just drawing those little drip marks that she has. Well not the drip marks but you know what I mean. And so once that's done I then do want to be drawing like random jagged lines just randomly all across everywhere because it's like a black and white piece and then I cross cutting it out. So once again this is the reference picture I'll be going by, I'm going by the cartoon version because it's much easier to tell with detail. The animation was a bit too blurred out, so cartoon it is. So I have already stuck on some dice earrings plus I have a fixed spot in my hair. Now I'm painting a purple mixed with white across my face. I did actually already film this part but it was so out of focus because I forgot to refocus it after focusing on my phone. So this is all a refilm. So now taking some straight up purple and filling my brows in. Well, actually recreating my brows but you know what I mean. not taking some shadow insurance from Nikki tutorials and using this to prime my eyes because my MAC one's pretty dry out but I will fix that up eventually and then just blending it in with my double ended petal brush just a smaller end and then setting that over with some more uh, BYS powder and my false finish sponge. So starting off with this yellow shade, I don't know quite what it's called, but I think it was covering it, but it's placing this directly onto my eyelid and sort of into the depths of my crease. Just so that I'm not gonna put the next shade down, it'll sit better blended. So the next shade is definitely going to be Clementine, that shade stands out to me. So I am placing this into my upper crease. It's like a sunset eyes that she um, operator has. So I'm taking some of Skull, which is the white shade, and placing it as my brow bone highlight. So then I am taking the yellow shade again and placing it into my under eyes. So then taking my eyeliner from Essence again and using this on my eyelid this time. I am going to be tracing my upper lash line, but I'm not going to worry about winging it out because she doesn't have hers winged out. I'm going to the lashes take care of that really. So then I'm taking Wanted from the Kids Taurus and using a little final brush to line my lower lash line. Then I am attaching some lashes. This one is from Katy Perry. I don't know how to, but I'm not too sure what the other one is. Then I'm going to go through and roll the lash my eyes up. So then I am taking Lady Balls from Too Faced Melt and Matte Range and using this as my lip shade because she has quite a bright, rich red shade. So then using a little final brush and some spirit gum and placing in three different points, two above my eyebrow, one on my cheek, so when I put uh, my little eye piece on, it'll sit nicely. So tap it in first, just to make sure it's tacky, then sticking my little paper piece down, and that is the little eye masking that she wears. So then with an eyeliner brush and wanted, I am adding the little beauty mark on her bottom left lip. Quickly going in with this grey shade, I am combing through my nose and I will be combing through the other points of my face as well just to give my face some structure. So going through with Champagne Truffle from Too Faced Chocolate Bite and highlighting the main points. So just to recap, I already have a fake spotter in my hair, plus dice earrings made of paper, and that is the look complete. Sweet. 